lots of orders going out today. So if you've ordered in the past week, chances are your name is somewhere in here. Lots. Lots and lots of corals. We ship corals right across the country. Here you go. This is for you, Jason. I don't know if you subscribe to our channel, but this is this is coming your way. Anyways, there you go, buddy. I know you like mushrooms. Very nice. Rhodactus in there for you. Okay, boxing is done. This is a typical Monday here. Lots of stuff going out right across Canada. Um, now we can finally start talking about what I wanted to talk about today. So we're gonna get into the video. This is my this is my sidetrack for the day. Okay, guys, I want to talk to you today about test kits. Yeah, sure, for foster Um If you've seen the other video I did that was the secret to reef keeping, I kept coming to the idea, uh, back to the idea of testing and how important testing is. Um, a lot of people out there, I saw in the comments some people say, I don't test my water. That is awesome. If you can keep a healthy, thriving reef tank and you're not testing the water, kudos to you. That's really good. Um, the longer you're in this hobby, that actually becomes possible over time. I think for most new hobbyists or people trying to keep acro and hard corals, that's simply not the case. I've been doing this quite a long time. We still test here in the store all the time. But with experience, you come to know um, some values just by looking at the corals. Your eyes almost become a test kit. I can tell when the magnesium is low from looking at hammers and acans. I can tell if alk is too high by the way some hard corals grow. I can tell if iodine is low, if I see growth dropped off in my soft corals, calcium high or low depending on um, the way speed, um, the way in which hard corals are growing and how fast they're growing. But anyways, testing is very, very important in the hobby. I think it's important. So today we're gonna to talk to you about test kits, our favorite ones here in the store, um, what you should be looking for in a test kit. Yeah, we're gonna run down different options because there's a lot of ones out there. Okay, so four major brands of test kits I would look at. The only one that we don't carry that's not here that I hear good reviews about is Nios. I think they're quite good. Um, another one we don't carry that is quite popular and shouldn't be is... API. API. Please, if you have an API test kit, they're really, really good at throwing in the garbage. Just take that thing and chuck it out. It's good for nothing. These are the four, four brands you should look for. There's... Aquaforest, our personal favorite here in-house that we use. Um, the Red Sea test kits, there's a lot of them, we'll cover those. The Salifert ones, tried, tested and true, these have been around forever. And then the convenient uh, Hannah checkers, so that they offer digital readouts for certain things you want to test in your reef tank. The third one here in the store is Aquaforest. This is what we use to test our own water, to maintain the water here at Fragbox. These are not bad. Red Sea offers a whole bunch of test kits and they offer good value. So they make these test kits that are sort of kind of uh, like an all-in-one. So they're good um, in the sense that they come in a kit. So this gives you nitrate, nitrite, pH, alkalinity, ammonia. They offer another one that's bundled with um, iron and potassium and something else. And then one more, this one's quite popular. Calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, not my personal favorite. We do sell a ton of them. People seem to like them. I still think the Aquaforest and the Salifert are much easier to use than the Red Sea test kits. These are a little bit more affordable because if you buy a test kit like this, you can go out and get simply the refill when it comes time to, when you run out of reagents. So you're getting just buying the refill instead of buying the whole test kit. So. They're a little bit more cost effective. They're really popular, but again, I always come back to the Aqua Forest. They're the easiest to use, I think. The color change is very clear, right? And I trust the results. These guys, Salifert, they've been around forever. I've had bum test kits though in the past. Uh, it can happen with any test kit, really. A test kit can go bad or it can be just a bad batch. I've seen it happen and you think your value is something and then it's not. Their nitrate one is very easy to use. Um, and Tana just came out with their own nitrate, right? Haven't used it yet. It is quite difficult. There's a number of steps involved and it's a very, very low range. So I think for a lot of hobbyists, the value may not actually be useful. For most people keeping soft and LPS corals, um, this will be fine. Something like this, Salifer nitrate, Aquaforest nitrate, or even the, the Pro nitrate is a lower range too from Red Sea. But I'm always coming back to the Aquaforest and the main reason is that they give you this little um, vial inside each test kit so you can basically test 
the test kit. They give you a little vial of ICP certified or, or tested water so that you can see that one, you're doing the test correctly and two, that the test kit is actually accurate. Those ones are all color changing though. And if you want something a little bit more convenient, Hannah offers these digital readouts. So they have alkalinity, they have calcium. They don't offer a magnesium test kit. This is their brand new nitrate and then two versions of phosphate test kit. So for most people go with the regular, um, sorry, not regular, it's called low range. I think that's going to be the most useful. If you're getting into hard corals, SPS, fine tuning, advanced reef keeping, you're going to want to go with the phosphorus, which is in parts per billion. It's a much smaller range and more accurate reading. Yeah, this is probably the most complicated out of all of them and the results are not always the same. So if you do back to back tests, I find that you get different readings or different numbers. So it's not always I don't know if it's uh, not always the most consistent out of the test kits. Uh, the phosphate and the alkalinity, I would say, are by far the most popular. But if you're looking for a high quality, easy to use test kit, I'm going to come back to it one more time. Aquaforce is the way to go. They are not the cheapest. They run about 25 bucks a test. But I trust the results. Finally, last test kit. This is not really a test kit. It's a water analysis. I just wanted to talk about it quickly. Um, a lot of people bring us their water to test if something's not going well in the tank. And sometimes we get stumped too. We'll look at calcium, alkalinity, mag, nitrate, iodine, salt, phosphate, everything that we can imagine, ammonia, and we can't help the customer. That's when we look at something like this. So you send this little vial. We're up here in Canada, so we send it down to the States to our friendly neighbors, and it goes through a very expensive, complicated machine, and then you get 40 elements back. You just log in online. They're really, really easy to use. Um, we usually send one off every four weeks just to, as a preventative measure, to see if stuff's coming up. Um, you can watch heavy metals that accumulate in the water. It's really useful. I think it's really cool, even just interesting to do once in a while. But once we get stumped, if we're trying to help someone in the hobby, this is our, our go-to. And usually you'll find something quite surprising when you get back here in the result. These are a lot of test kits and it can get quite expensive. If you're going to focus on anything in this hobby though, I think for new hobbyists, salt nitrate phosphate those are going to be your three most important once you start getting into more advanced reef keeping the holy trinity that's your calcium alkalinity and magnesium and if you had to really focus on one i think it would be alkalinity so if you're trying to keep hard corals or you're just trying to keep a tank stable in general um, keep coming back to this word alkalinity we keep ours at 7.7 .7 here in the store congrats to liam who won that uh, polyp view lens oh, where is it we sent him out one this week I hope you get it soon he guessed it or he got it right 7.7 .7. but if you've ever kept Acropora if you've been this in, in, in the hobby for a while you know what an elk swing is and you know how devastating it can be to a reef tank you never hear people talking about calcium swings or magnesium swings or iodine swings this is the real killer if your calcium is high or low I find it controls um, the growth of the corals and it can kind of cause imbalances in alkalinity magnesium high doesn't really hurt anything in my experience low magnesium will affect LPS nitrates and phosphates are tied to algae growth and overall tank health but the real killer the real one we want to watch especially if you're trying to get into hard corals is that alk swing, uh, alkalinity here's our alk this is what we're shooting for 7.7 .7. that's our happy number this is when all our corals grow and look happy and we love them. 7.7, .7. that's our goal here in the store. You're keeping it stable through dosing. And the more you test, the easier it is to keep your dosing in line to maintain this number of 7.7. .7. You stop testing, maybe it starts to go up for whatever reason. And we are trying to avoid swings. I would consider a swing anything bigger than one DKH. Now you notice your ALK is no longer 7.7, .7, you're 8.7 and you go to correct it and you stop dosing and you start to drop and if you don't correct it properly that's what we're look that's basically what we call a swing this can be absolutely devastating your soft corals aren't going to care your zoas won't care most lps won't care it's really when we get into this if you're trying to keep hard coral this one point one and a half point dkh can be absolutely devastating and you can start to lose corals very very quickly and finally, there's one more way to test. This is not a test kit. I'm just going to quickly show this to you. Disregard our cable management of the store. It's very hard when you have 150 different things plugged in. But this is um, an Apex, the Neptune Trident. So 
What this does is automatically test your calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, and then it's pretty cool, shows up here on your phone. You can see it right there. So yeah, oh, calcium's looking a little high. The, um, our calcium, actually this thing needs to go in for calibration. It's often reading quite high. But when we send water out for ICP testing, the Trident is remarkably close. So I think it is accurate. I think it's reliable and uh, the only issue with this is it's about $800 and you need an Apex system. But if you can afford it, this thing is awesome. So just one more, one more way to test your water. I'm going to do another video on Apex though and the whole Neptune system and give you a rundown on uh, what we're using here in the store. It's really, really just awesome product. There's nothing like it on the market. But this, that's going to be a very long, long video. Lots to talk about when it comes to this, this company here. But that's it. I think it's enough talking for today. Thank you for watching our video. As usual, contact info at the end. Just to recap, Aquaforest, our favorite in-house brand of test kit. If you can find it nearby, you grab one of these. They're awesome. They're easy to use. They're reliable. They're accurate. I think they're precise. We do sell them here in the store. Any of these four, though, are, are quite good. And please, 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 I am begging you. API. Do not use API test kits if you have one. I don't care what price they were. They look convenient. They come in a package. They're just simply awful. Uh, they really shouldn't be making them. This is to say thank you for watching to the end of the video and listening to me rant about Aquaforest. We're going to give these three away to somebody who wants them. How are we going to give them away? Our guest digs his birthday. And whoever's the closest, we will give you this free set uh, Aquaforest calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium test kits that I'm absolutely in love with. Um, all you got to do is in the comments, guess Diggs' birthday, and you have to be subscribed to the channel, and you got to be in North America. I'll ship them to you free of charge, absolutely free, as long as you're in uh, in North America, Canada, and U.S. Guess Doggy's birthday. Uh, next video, I'll announce the winner. Thanks for watching, and happy reefing.